Hello guys and welcome in today's episode where I have a bit of a conundrum on my hands and uh, well I definitely mean on my hands because I have to choose bef between two keyboards which are actually premium keyboards but uh, you know one of them is good for me one of them is not so good for me or at least in my opinion and I'm hoping that by making this video if you are in a, situ in a situation similar to mine where you actually have to change your keyboard and you're not really sure what to use then maybe this is the place to start and you can find out a few things that maybe are going to help you decide which one is best for you. Now, I have already made a video about this guy right here. This is the Corsair K100 Air keyboard. It is a very nice solid build and premium design and I would say a premium product overall. And keep in mind, this is the newer product. So this was launched back in 2022, while the Logitech G915, which is this guy right here, was actually launched in 2020. I will start off with the most important thing and that is the price of each of these products right here. So first of all, let's start things off with the Corsair K100 Air. This has been launched in uh, 2022 and it is, uh, I would say, still their flagship keyboard when it comes to, you know, low profile, high speed and uh, great battery life and, you know, some other neat uh, bits and bobs, I would say, features here and there. And this being, I don't know, gaming focused, it's still I would say really rather expensive uh, it sits at $280 right now on the Corsair website and that is crazily expensive but uh, considering for you know considering the fact that this Logitech G915 this is the full flesh keyboard they also have the 10 keyless this is not the 10 keyless version uh, also goes on Logitech's own website from anywhere in between $230 to $250 as is which for me in my mind for a product that's already just just about three years old right now at the moment of this video it is crazily expensive i mean especially that the gap is only of 30 dollars between a newer newer model of course different brand different manufacturer and something from uh, a while back but there are some good things and some bad things that i want to discover with you uh, about this keyboard and i want to talk about them and so i hope that you guys by the end of this video are going to have a clear picture about what's happening so if you are in a tight spot as i am and you want to change out your keyboard and you are thinking about something like this something like low profile wireless very fast for gaming then definitely you should have arrived to somewhere in this territory between the logitech g915 which is by now a bestseller and of course the well Corsair K100 Air which is also a bestseller from Corsair when it comes to these things. I will start things off with the older one so let's start off with the Logitech G915 right here. Uh, the Logitech G915 well what do I like about the Logitech G915? I love I should say I love actually not like because I like that one but I love this one the fact that this has, this has some weight to it, it has more weight than that. I know that the name of the Corsair K100 is Air because it's light. Uh, this doesn't have that in its brand name, but anyway, it's of course heavier. It is a little bit bigger. Uh, it's actually a bit wider than the Corsair K100, but I love the fact that it has a bit more weight to it. It's not, you know, heavy by any stretch of imagination. It is that heavier sensation that you get with quality products. I don't know if I can really put my thumb on it, but definitely something a bit more on the heavy side feels more premium sometimes than with other products. And this definitely takes the cake for that. I really love the way and the form factor, I think also plays a major role because this one has curved edges here on the side, while the Corsair K100 is actually very um, edgy right here. So, you know, our fingers are not really square in any shape or form they're actually you know better made grip things that are you know curved on the sides that's why you have phones for the longest time being with curved edges but anyway i digress uh, the fact is that i really love the weight of this keyboard in comparison to the k100 air the other most important aspect for me when it comes to the keyboard is actually of course the design because this is something that you get to see day in and day out whenever you're using your computer and I definitely like the overall aesthetic of the G915 more than the Corsair K100. Now this is meant to be black uh, while both of them have a brushed metal uh, or I should say a brushed aluminum finish on the top. This is actually black while this one is actually metal or I don't think there is any sort of coating on this one or it looks a little bit bluish. I don't know what treatment they've used, but it definitely fits in more with my setup anyway and my liking. So this is another thing that I will definitely um, 
you know, give a plus to because I like the way it looks more than the Corsair K100. But yeah, this as well comes down to preferences. So uh, this is just me rambling on about what preferences I have and why I choose certain things. When it comes to more practical things or more important things is definitely the overall typing experience for which I definitely have to give it to Logitech more than to the Corsair right here. Even though this is an older generation, this is actually a more established way of um, implementing key, the, the keyboards overall because the mechanical key switches have been around since I think the late 80s or since the invention of the PC more or less while this butterfly design has been de definitely revolutionized by Apple and is definitely implemented into Apple products and I have been using for the longest time a uh, Apple Pro I think since 2014 so that more or less translates to about 10 years right now but uh, yeah, I definitely love the ergonomics of those keyboards and this was definitely something that I was looking for when I tried to find something um, similar for the PC right here. And this definitely feels closer to Apple than Logitech right here. But this isn't necessarily a good thing for Corsair and I'll explain why right now. I know numbers are numbers and this has a longer key travel, this has a longer key actuation travel. Um, I know this has a lower latency or I should say a higher latency than the Corsair K100 so it isn't as responsive as that one but there are some very good things that come with this as well. Now do keep in mind first of all Logitech gives you the option to trick out this keyboard uh, so you do have your uh, clicky, you do have your tactile and you do have your linear switches to choose from. You can definitely spec them out when uh, you're buying this keyboard from their website or probably you can find them, find them already. Uh, customized uh, within the retail space whenever you are going to purchase this from a brick and mortar store um, but uh, yeah there is a pleasant feedback from whenever you are pressing the keys on the Logitech G915 so even though these are the GL tactile switches right here it is still clicky as you can uh, take a listen And if you want to see a comparison between this and the Corsair K100, just take a listen here. There is a difference in noise and that's because, well, these keys wobble, take a listen. While the Corsair K100 really doesn't. But coming back to the typing experience, there is a very nice satisfying uh, rebound from the keys whenever you're pushing down on a key with this key which is right here first of all the amount of or I should say the pressure required to activate both of these keys on both of these keyboards is more or less the same I think this one stands at 60 grams while this one stands at 65 grams anyway it's uh, negligible it's it's nothing so it's not a real uh, important factor here the fact is that when you press down on this you actually get a slight um, tension on the key so you get a slight resistance whenever you're pushing down on the key so that makes the whole sensation of typing on this keyboard so much more involved and there is a uh, tactile feedback whenever you're trying to release your thumb from the keycap because you also get a nice rebound of the key uh, so that feels absolutely amazing while you are actually lacking all of this with this keyboard right here this is why I really love the way that uh, when you type on this keyboard, it's actually comfortable and as well it is a pleasant sensation of actually getting that tactile feedback right back when you are pressing a key. So this makes it quite a big deal because this is, uh, I would say, the bulk of the experience whenever you are using a keyboard. But unfortunately, it is not as simple as that because there are other factors at play right here. And moving aside from this, you would actually take uh, to have you, you actually have to take a look at the overall layout for the G915 right here. And as it sits, it's actually quite long. I don't really enjoy the fact that it is too long. Definitely, you could buy the 10 keyless version, which actually just it's going to cut this part off and make it that much shorter but I absolutely love and I want the numpad right here so going the 10 kilo route is definitely not something for me but depending on the setup and your preferences you're definitely free and you can actually buy a keyboard that is 10 kilos if you so wish.
Another very nice feature of this keyboard is actually that they've thought about making some sort of a difference between the regular keys and the implemented keys for both the memories or I should say the profiles and then you know activating the wireless Bluetooth whatever changing the brightness and the media control keys here they're all made out of some very soft silicon and they're actually very nice to the touch and you still get that very nice rebound that I was talking about with the rest of the keys and I very much like the overall aesthetic and the feel of actuating these keys as well not only that but I very much love this volume knob right here I should say this volume wheel because this is actually made out of metal and it really stands out nice with the rest of the keyboard and it has a certain weight to it you can definitely feel it when you're moving it around or it does actually gives you some resistance whenever you are pushing on it uh, you don't have a tactile per se feeling it doesn't click or something when you're moving it but this definitely feels nice and premium and i love the fact that it's overall quite wide but this is pretty much it on the design and on the feeling of the keyboard right here and of course uh, looking for the back of the keyboard is made out of plastic and the same goes for the Corsair K100 Air and that's not a big problem anyway it is quite sturdy plastic and don't get me wrong it is a very sturdy and rigid keyboard and you won't see any sort of problems with it although if you do check out a video from Jay's Two Cents I think he made a review 18 months into owning this keyboard and there was a flex to it. He doesn't even know how it occurred, but anyway, uh, I have this for about three weeks now. I did type on it quite a lot and it didn't bow, but anyway, three weeks is not 18 months. So yeah, anyway, I don't think we should worry about any sort of problems with the chassis of these keyboards because they're very well built and the integration between aluminum and plastic for both of them actually is pretty nice. Right, so I did try to keep this comparison real time and both talk about the Corsair product alongside with the Logitech right here because I didn't want to waste your time by going through the ball over again with the other brand. But uh, yeah, this definitely concludes the part of the design and I would just reference the Corsair K100 a little bit more with the extra features or I should say the extra little bits and bobs that are different then the Logitech G915 here, and then we can move on to the spec. So yeah, the Corsair K100 Air. Uh, it's actually shorter than the Logitech G915, even though this is also the full flash keyboard, the TKL. This one does not sell in a TKL-less form, so you only get this form right here, which also includes the numpad. So for all of you people out there who are looking for shorter keyboards that actually allow for more space for your mouse, then this is not the product for you and you should just end it here. Just kidding, that might not be the whole deal. The keycaps on this keyboard, uh, yeah, they feel good. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're not cheap in any way. They're not made out of cheap plastic. They don't feel cheap and plasticky and Chineseium and whatever you want to make it. They actually feel good. I mean, I've been typing, as I've said before, for the longest time on a MacBook Pro and the keyboard is really, really similar to a MacBook product or I should say an Apple product or a keyboard from Apple because this is different in its structure and design. This is not a mechanical keyboard, so to say a traditional mechanical keyboard like the Logitech product, but it's actually a butterfly design um, that you can definitely check out in the video up here if you're interested in the full review of this guy. Uh, other than that, first of all, these keys are different these are not silicon these are all the same keys and the same plastic as the rest of the keyboard so this is definitely a factor that is different from this one right here and this scroll wheel it's actually made out of plastic and it is uh, far less wide than the logitech g915 is but yeah you know preferences and stuff um there is one very nice feature and of course it's obvious it's nice and centered here and this is the center display for the keyboard so you do get a feedback from this center display with what's happening in real time with the keyboard. Mine, is, has, mine has already scratched up quite a bit and I haven't really used it that much. I'm not really sure what's happening there. But anyway, you get representations of, or I should say icon representing something what's happening right now. We are using this keyboard in its wireless form. So you are getting a little wireless post there and you are getting to see the logo of a small shield. That means that this keyboard actually provides 128 bits encryption between it and the dongle and the computer that it's attached to. So this is definitely a feature that is missing on the Logitech G915 and this one proudly has it. Now moving forward, of course you get your media keys here, of course you get some sort of control here which is basically minimal. You only get a lighting control for the keyboard with five steps uh, for the adjustments of the brightness. You get a lockout key for your Windows key and not only that but you get a profile key here as well. And apart from that you get your three keys right here because you can connect this keyboard with Bluetooth as well like you can with the Logitech G915, that's not very different. 
but uh, this is the overall design and aesthetic that Corsair went with. It is definitely slimmer than the Logitech G915. Using this new design, or I should say this new butterfly design for the keycaps, even though they are presenting it as a gaming mechanical keyboard, uh, the key travel is actually half the... So when it comes to the specs of this keyboard right here, since